Hey friend, it's Summer with HammondsNest.com and I have a really cutesy idea for you today. I've got this salt shaker, salt pepper shaker set that I picked up at Dollar General. They're $2 for the set. So I'm going to make something just kind of cute to sit around for the winter Christmas. I took the lids off and I put some matte Mod Podge on those just to dull the shine and set those to the side. Now I'm using some Epsom salt in these salt and pepper jars and some diamond dust, which is just glitter. And I'm kind of mixing that. That way my diamond dust went a little bit further because it's more expensive. <laughs> um, but I just use a funnel to get that down in there and then mix it up. So now I've got this sparkly salt in here. And next I'm gonna pull out these little craft foam balls. Now I wanna go ahead and try to make these look a little less like foam balls. So I'm gonna put a coat of cottage white on them folk art color and I'm just squeezing it right on there I'm going to kind of move that around and let that get some time to dry and then we're going to paint on snowman faces it's going to be so cute it's very simple and really just something kind of like I said cutesy to sit around or put like in a tiered tray you might could find some kind of way to make this an ornament I racked my brain and nothing that I had in mind would really hold up um, but anyway, you saw I used some hot glue to put that styrofoam ball uh, right on top there. And now I'm using some ripped green fabric as a little scarf. And I did this off camera. I ended up doing a little fringe on the end of the fabric there, like a scarf. But anyway, let's move on and I'll show you the other embellishments. Of course, we got to have some buttons. I, my style is a little bit more natural looking. I tend to kind of try to embrace that when I can. And this one, just the natural colored buttons. I loved how they popped off the white. So I opted not to paint them black, though they would be super cute black. And now I'm gonna take the lid to the shaker and we're just gonna kind of like tilt it on the top like a little snowman cap of some sort. Not a snowman top hat, of course. But now we gotta paint a face, okay? So let me tell you, I've never painted styrofoam balls before and they weren't the easiest to get like really detailed art on. So I started working with the end of a paintbrush and then I moved on to just a fine tip one to make my little eyes and paint my nose and uh, my face and everything like that. So I'm using the color uh, Licorice Matte Black by Folk Art for the black. And I'm using a color called Cinnamon by Folk Art for the little nose. And that's just a little, little bit deeper of an orange, kind of goes more with my color and vibe. But anyway, you can see here, I'm just kind of making the face come together. I'm gonna have to let that face dry for just a few minutes before I put the little twinkles in the eye, little white twinkles. But so far, pretty cute. Now I'm just gonna take some of the same black and I'm gonna kind of dust it along the top of the salt shaker cap to antique it a bit and the buttons, just kind of pulling those colors in, giving a little bit more character, a little bit more movement. And I'll do the same with the white after I add the little twinkles. Like I said, I gave that some time to dry before I tried to do this, but it turned out pretty cute. <laughs> like I said, this painting on styrofoam was kind of a fun challenge for me, but now I know there's always a first time for everything. So I added that little bit of white, again, like I said, to the, the hat and some of the buttons. And so I'm liking the way this is coming together. Now, let me go ahead and tell you this. Originally, I wasn't gonna do any arms, but I was like, he needs something. So this is the best that I could come up with. I just had some wire jute. The thing about putting little arms on this glass shaker is because you need it, something to hold on to. So I ended up twisting it where it had a good surface to glue those little arms on. And with that, I believe the snowman look is complete. I gave the other one a cute little red striped scarf. I hope you enjoy this one and maybe even inspired to try it yourself. Bye-bye.